Hello and welcome back to my Slay the Spire series. Today, we're running the Ironclad on Ascension 2. Let's get right on into it. I won't spoil what happened in the previous run, but um, it was pretty cool. That nib is not bad either. Um, it was a pretty, uh, pretty nail-biter run, I guess is a good way of putting it. So, you know, I'd recommend watching it. It was a nice watcher demonstration of maybe what not to do as the character, but... Anyways, now we're playing the Ironclad. Ironclad's great. Just... Ooh, okay. You know, being able to heal in combat, so good, right? Just 6 HP. You can play, like, a lot riskier, like here. I can just, I can just take six damage, and it doesn't matter because I'm gonna heal six at the end of combat. So it's like I took no damage at all. So I actually saw anger get played, and you know what? It's really not bad, is it? Like just the fact that you can get a six damage for zero, it's pretty good, right? Battle trains I also like, but I think I'm gonna take an early anger. Because uh, 8 plus 18 is 26. That's not enough. Alright, well, we're not healing to full, that's for sure. Should be lethal. Expected strike is so bad. Um, Thunderclap is okay. Spot weakness. I feel like spot weakness is actually good. Maybe I'm tripping. Might be tripping. It's gonna do a lot of damage here, though. Actually, I could defend and then whirlwind. I definitely need to. A few more blocks, I think. Kill him. Aha! Spy weakness with strike there. <laughs> um, you know what, let's not take any more of these. I need some more defend guards. I'm also still trying to get out of the habit of like thinking super strict archetype fully. If that makes sense, like, you know, I need to stop just thinking strictly in terms of archetypes. Is basically what I'm trying to say. Hmm. Nine plus what? Four. Thirteen. 8 plus 9, 30. Wait, but it's 3. So it'll only be... I don't know, how does this work? So, you know what? Let's just play this. Nah, so it's only 4 damage. Okay, so it'll be 12 plus 9. So yeah, he's gonna live. Whatever. It's like a little bit of damage. It's no big deal. Uh, but yeah, I, I'm still trying to get out of that um, kind of mindset of like, I want to go this archetype, or I want to go this archetype. Like, just pick cards that are good. That's the lesson that I need to learn, I think. Of course. One week is definitely not good enough. Oh my god, dude. I mean, this boss is just like so disgusting, no? 
You need to be able to do so much damage to him. And it's like, what can I even do here? Bro? I'm lucky that I had pen nub. Or pen nib. Mummified hand is sick. Should I just go for another strength run? Rampage is kind of fun. Inflame is just so good, though. Rampage, though? <laughs> I mean, this is if I have a really thin deck, though, right? Like, if I'm playing the same card over and over. I mean, it's kind of like a claw. <laughs> a more expensive claw, huh? Let's go for Inflame. Should I go to an early shop? I don't really have gold, do I? I think I'd rather just go up here. Interesting. Eight, nine, plus nine. We have 26 damage exactly. Draw three. Maybe I'll just gain six block. Dude, spot weakness is crazy, actually. Like, like I don't know, dude. The fact that it's three strength, which is better than inflame. Had a burn to your discard, 21 to all. I mean, I have Whirlwind to give me a little bit of AoE. Do I... Am I taking Iron Wave? I have, like, no block. Himalaya is kind of cool. I'm not fire breathing or anything, though. I'm not going, like, a status strat. But imagine if I was. Whatever, I'm just going to take Iron Wave. I, I actually don't really like that card, but... You gotta do what you gotta do. I need to be able to block at some point. God, I really need my whirlwind, huh? Maybe I should have taken more AoE. Um, I mean, I can. Get a little bit of block. Ah, there we go. Whenever you draw a status card, draw a card. Oh my god. Well, now I kind of wish that I took that Hellfire or whatever earlier. Immolate. But, you know, it's fine. I do have a Mummified Hand. Is it worth to take the Evolve just because of that? Wait, I forgot I had Mummified Ant. <laughs> Is that why? Okay. I totally forgot that I had that. I need to remember that. I always forget about Mummified Ant, actually. It's really bad. Because the card is so good. Solid. Desecrate. Four strength, two weak, three strength, draw two. Hmm. Two weak is pretty nice, honestly. Let's fight the elite. We'll be fine. I just barely do too much damage. I mean, honestly, well, no, I mean, I'd like to draw the Inflame before going for this, but it's kind of hard to pass off. <laughs> That's a lot of damage. And now he's still vulnerable. Oh, 
we're just doing damage. Okay. Move up hand, coming in clutch. Oh. That's interesting. I, well, no, I couldn't have played that for zero. Now that I think about it, that would have been... That would have been cheating. For some of these HP, each combat, draw three cards. Pretty good. Still Chaos is a card. Every card in your hand is an attack. Well, I have quite a few non-attack cards in my deck, so... I also have a curse. But, you know, Clash is kind of an interesting card. I guess if you get it with, like, Iron Wave and, like, maybe cards that heal you, it could be fun, but... Man, another spot weakness is probably not good, is it? Blood for Blood seems bad as well. Maybe Blood for Blood's good. Hotheosis. Whenever you lose HP from a card, gain a strength. Uppercut is kind of just a solid card. Lantern's okay. Why do I have so much gold? Atheosis is fun, but is it actually good though? I mean, if I do Dreamcatcher plus Apotheosis, I'll never have to upgrade again, but I have to actually draw the Apotheosis, which is a problem. Finesse is good. And then let's just remove a basic strike. And I think that'll be good for now. Let's save our gold. Whirlwind? Holy Christ. Oh. I just drew three cards randomly. Well, it wasn't random, but... That was crazy. I just drew three cards because of my friggin' Centennial Puzzle and my Curse. I forgot that I had my Curse. I definitely should have removed that. It's a strike. Oopsie. And Trench is good if you have a thing that's good. Second Wind. Dude, Second Wind plus Clash? Let's go. I feel like I'm, like, missing out on some good stuff. Um, Iron Wave is not bad, so just get it there. Except for Flame. Whatever, one strength. Huge. Pen name on a zero whirlwind? I wonder if that works, actually. go. We're doing damage. We're also taking damage. Hmm. Okay. Regret is not good to draw when with your uh, Centennial Puzzle, is it? Draw a million. Okay, I'm I'm playing a few angers. The anger might start get to get out of control. Actually, I'm about to like die. What's going on? Okay, oh, he's dead. Nice. <laughs> I did almost die, but ah, uh, demon form again. Demon form again? I have Mummified Hand. Berserk is interesting, but... Alright, you know what? We'll go for it. Whatever.
can no longer rest at rest sites. Okay. Well, we're going to have to play well for the rest of the run and not take any damage. So, let's do that. I'm going to try to avoid fights if possible, get to the merchant, and immediately get rid of this crap card. Uh, crap card being the curse in my deck. This guy's almost dead, huh? Unlucky. Alright, cool. Clash. Uh, <laughs> Iron Wave and Clash. The fact that I can't even rest makes Clash feel really bad because if I have no blocks... Ah, whatever. I mean, Cla you know what? Maybe Clash is fine because I just have to play all of my defense and then I can just play the Clash for free. Wow. Wow. <laughs> Alright. Don't mind if I do. I'm taking a lot of damage here. I'm not taking as much damage. Finesse. Inflame. Defend. Whirlwind. Oh. Okay. Thought that was going to happen slightly differently, obviously. It's fine, though. Apply weak. Sure. <laughs> Whatever. Seems fun. God dang. Alright, I need more block. Clearly. Keep drawing clash with this regret, dude. I'm like getting pissed off. I it was the worst decision I've ever made in my life. Wait, he died. Are we like just that OP? I need more block. Heck no, I'm not doing that again. I'm gonna lose my mind. I'm actually, this game is not real. I don't think that this game is real. I'm like astonished that this is actually possible. It's not real at all. Like can anybody else believe that? Every time that I've drawn Clash has been with that curse. Every single time. It's insane. Dang, I'm taking damage here. Holy Christ. Okay, so right now I'm doing 36. If I get this, I'll do 36. It's not enough. Whatever. Just take a million. All 
Alright. Another clash, huh? Shockwave is good too. I don't know, bro. Whenever you rest, heal an additional 15. Y'all. Yeah. That's good. Barricade feels so good, but obviously I can't take it. Hear that. Flash of Steel is good. Sling of Courage is fine. Everything else I don't need. Dang, Barricade is such a good skill. <laughs> or power, rather. But I mean, I just can't take it, can I? Can I take a Carnage? It feels kind of bad. I don't think I want to do that. Oh, I'll definitely take this. Bearing a bottle? Yeah. Boom. Finally got to use it. And we'll also weaken him for, you know, a little bit of extra health, I guess. Seven times four is 28. This is a lot of damage. <laughs> nice. Exhaust one, draw two. Flex. No. Demon form. I mean, it'd be nice to be able to get, like, a cost discount on Demon Horn. But, you know. Gremlin Horn? It's pretty good. Yeah, upgrading Whirlwind would be pretty good, actually, but... I think I need to upgrade my block abilities. Considering I have, like, no block ability right now. That's not good. I guess it would have been better to just play the whirlwind for an extra hit on that guy, huh? Whatever. I low-key need to get rid of my, um, my spot weakness and inflame, I think. It's doing a little bit of overkill right now. is good actually. It's like fumble though. Another merchant. I have no gold. Whenever card is exhausted, draw a card. I have like barely anything that exhausts. I need money. Wow. That would have been good. That would have also been good. I can't heal. I guess let's fight an enemy. 
We probably won't die here, right? One, two, three, four, five. <laughs> I guess I should have taken that flex potion. damage from this fight. That's pretty bad. I don't think I can play bloodletting. I don't even need the energy half the time. Uh, I definitely need more block. Alright, let's see what we can do here. Whirlwind is actually going to be huge. I didn't realize I was pending that clash, so that was pretty lucky. Because <laughs> I did not mean to do that. Dang. Taking a little bit of damage here. It's fine, right? I'm like almost dead. I forgot that was the thing. I'm not almost dead. This guy's almost dead. Wow, okay. This run scales extremely well because of demon form, obviously. Um, but, yeah, it's it's hard. Exhaust your hand, deal 7 damage for each card exhausted, exhaust. Skills cost 0 whenever you play a skill exhausted. No, that seems bad. 7 damage for each card exhausted. Is that even good? In my deck. I don't draw a ton of cards. So I'm just going to be exhausting my hand. And most of the time this isn't even going to be doing as much damage. As like some of my other attacks would. Legend seems bad too. Not play more than 6 cards per turn. I'm okay with that. I don't think I play a lot of cards per turn, do I? I mean, I guess I can. It's not crazy that I would gain a, a, play a bunch of cards. Blast for Stone is always scary. I always say that. Um, I don't know. I don't think it's ever worth taking. Velvet Choker is strong consideration. I don't know. Sozu is like pretty sus to take. Considering how good potions are, but... Maybe I just can't afford to take the choker. Like, if I can't afford to take the choker, then I should probably take Sozu. I do need a lot of energy. Like, my demon form turns just can't happen without energy, so... Oh, I forgot I need to fight the burning elite. Yikes. Okay. Well, let's go. Okay. Holy Christ.
Okay. <laughs> I just gotta kill this guy this turn. Well, didn't happen. <laughs> Unfortunately. And now they're all back with a vengeance. Okay, never mind, they're not really back for the vengeance. Okay. My deck is like okay. Almost strike could be huge. Actually. Another clash seems troll. I already have two. I will take a pommel strike though. Gremlin Horde makes it like feel pretty good, actually. These guys are going to get stronger every turn, which is only slightly terrifying. Take it. Why is he suddenly doing a bajillion to me? Ah, burn in the clash. It kind of counters what I've got going, huh? Well, that's unfortunate. Yowza, that was a lot of damage. <laughs> and I somehow end up with like no attacks in my hand yet again, even though that's like 90% of my deck. That was slightly unfortunate. Let's double my strength. Okay. I can no longer heal at all. That seems so bad. I take a million damage every combat. This guy's dead for sure, though. Oh shoot, it was a pen nib, I wasn't paying attention. I could have killed that guy. This works just the same, huh? Healing is 50% more effective during combat. Nice. I'll take a heavy blade. Heavy blade might be overkill, but it's fine. Interesting. I think I actually just want to split up the damage. I should have split up the damage on this guy. That was kind of stupid, I think, actually. Mm, it's fine. Ended up being fine at the very least. I need to somehow get a ton of block. I don't really want to take the hit. But he's getting thorns up the wazoo, bro. And of course I end up having to take the hit anyways. Oh wait, magic flower bust burning blood. Okay, well that's actually pretty good then. Darn. <laughs> 
I probably shouldn't have taken that, knowing that the boss is not as effective against it. Hmm. So I offer a good card, and then I get something good in return. They healed me. Alright, whatever. I guess. I suck against this guy. Whoa. Nice. Nice. <laughs> I somehow ended up taking no damage. Huge. <laughs> nice. I don't want barricade, right? I mean, it's useless in my deck, no? Like, I barely gain block as it is. Yeah, honestly, at this point, I think I'm just giving up against the heart. I don't think I'm ever going to beat them. At least not with, like, this deck as it is right now. It's, like, impossible. I just have enough block to sustain. Give me something good. Remove a card? Um, I kind of like all these cards. Shockwave is kind of bad, but it's good against normal enemies. But I'll just remove a normal strike, honestly. Um, uh, I guess I should take the Sapphire Key, right? <laughs> Bottled Flame. Is Bottled Flame good? It'd be kind of good to just take Whirlwind, although we're already so late in the run. Anyways, it's not like there's any point thinking about it. Oh. Obtain an additional copy of a card in my deck. What would I get? Another demon form? Oh. Yo? On God? Every card is exhausted, gain three block. That's pretty good. I don't exhaust much though. Okay. It's probably not good, but it's kind of funny, so whatever. Start of your turn at a random colorless card in my hand? That seems bad. Cool. Oh, uh, Metallicize 8. You can't be serious. early demon form. We got another early demon form. That's not bad. That's kind of bad that I'm taking a million damage here. Okay, well this dude's giga dead. Just play both of these for free. Cool. Shuriken. That's not bad. Tend to kill. Nice. 
Not as nice. Oh, the boot. Increased my damage ever so slightly. Taking damage here, but that's okay. Okay. Hmm. Well, not the best opener, I will say. Taking three damage, huh? What the heck? What a crazy hand. And I hit the pommel strike? Okay. Well, I think this dude's dead. Whenever you play an attack this turn, gain 5 block. You know what? I actually think that could be good. Alright. Should I play the regen or do I feel confident? I don't feel super confident. I'm gonna try my best. Okay, well, I kind of wasted that effect, but... I guess it's not a waste because it's free. I played the whirlwind for zero to get the shuriken proc. I also would have played it anyways for the pendant, but I realized I should play it before playing the pommel because of the shuriken. If anyone was curious, why I did what I did. Split the damage. We can kill this guy fairly easily this turn, so... Wouldn't be a big deal. Huge. By the way, me holding onto the regen potion is intentional. I'm trying to save... <laughs> I'm trying to save it for the heart. Possible. I also, I mean, I do have the fairy in a bottle. Worst case scenario. Okay. Don't have much gold. I can remove like a card, and that's probably the extent of what I can do. Did I not upgrade my finesse? Or do I have a second one? I have two finesses. Cool. Whirlwind won't be nearly as good against the heart. Will come. Ah. 
Yeah, okay. None of those are good. Another pummel, huh? I don't really care about inflame. I mean, flame is nice to try and reduce demon form, but that's like such a small interaction. I think it's fine just to remove inflame. Although, actually, I shouldn't have removed inflame, because inflame's kind of free to play because of mummified hand, so maybe that was bad. Lose 2 HP. I should have played that. Oh, I guess it doesn't matter. Oh, ha, ha. So because of the magic flower, I'll actually go to full health as long as I don't take any more damage this fight. Which doesn't seem likely considering what I'm going up against right now. Although it was actually close. <laughs> um, let's prevent the... Let's prevent the damage. It's only 5 damage prevented, but... I think it's worth it, considering that we pretty much kill him no matter what this turn. The Art of War is useless, but whatever. Evolve against the heart is interesting. Should I save up my pummel or should I just use it now? I can save my pummel for a crazy hit later on in the run, but I don't know if I need it. I think I'd rather just use it right now. That's unfortunate. Taking damage. Oh, Magic Flower with the Regent Potion is crazy too. It's interesting. Another thing that I didn't really think of. I pen nibbed a random card. Oh, well, there's my fairy bottle. I use some block, please. A little bit of block. The more cards I play this turn, the more damage that I take. 25 times 4 is 100. This is already 114. I'm just affected five times. We can win. We can win. We kill him right now. We have no cards in our hand. Ah, uh, that's sad. We drew no attacks, pretty much. We drew, like, all of our defense, 
and all of our skills. Yeah, that's rough. Dang. Just couldn't quite get there, I guess. I mean, we could play this, but... Ah, dang. If we drew our attacks, we could have killed them, but... We just couldn't get there. That's rough. Eh, whatever, it's fine. It was a close fight, all things considered. Yeah, I mean, you know, the fact that we had, like, barely any blocks at all in our deck. You know, fighting that far against the heart is pretty rough, so... I'm not too sad about that. Oh, we got, like, no points, though. Probably because we were taking damage every fight. That's, that's fine with me. Alright, hey, some more exhaust synergies. I don't mind that. Exhaust is a cool archetype. Alright, well, that was actually a pretty quick run. I, I didn't realize it was only 52 minutes. A lot of my runs take at least an hour if they're uh, wins, but that one went by qu pretty quick. I mean, honestly, it's probably because there just wasn't a lot of thinking involved. It was like, I see the enemy, I have the attacks in my hand, I play the attacks, and I hope I don't die. But, um... Yeah. I don't know. That's all I gotta say. It was a pretty fun run. Um, I'll try not to go with strength run next time, but, you know, when you're offered a demon form, I mean, you just gotta take it, right? Demon form with mummified hand, it's like, sheesh. That's free low. But, uh, yeah. Anyways, it was fun. A little run. Got a dub with the Ironclad. So now we're on Ascension 3 with Ironclad, Watcher, and Silent. The only one we're stuck on Ascension 2 on is Defect, which does not surprise me in the slightest. Defect is easily the hardest character for me to play. Silent is second hardest, then Ironclad, then Watcher. So, that being said, that'll be it for me for today's episode. Hope you all enjoyed. Hope you have a good day, good night, whenever, wherever you are in the world. And I hope to see you next time where we will be playing the Silent. Hoping to get our first Ascension 3 win, where elites are deadlier. Which is just great, because you know that I love fighting against elites, so... Well, I've gotten better about it. I've started dodging elites when I don't think that I can fight them, so... Anyways. I'm out of here. See y'all later.